What's up, world? Your boys back at it again with another banger. So today, you guys have requested caught giving head at school. Good lord, I know you teenagers are crazy, but yeah, okay. But I understand. <laughs> I was there, so I understand. Hey, I'm not judging. Okay, by my man. Berto, okay, never seen Berto before, so come on, Berto, come on, man, I love seeing the young guys coming in with the new animations, let me see it, drop that fire, dog, drop that heat, high school is right. honestly one of the most insane places on this planet, True. just think about it, you stick a whole bunch of teenagers inside captivity for about eight hours a day, expecting all of them to coexist, we uh, first of all, damn, Berto tatted up, ain't he, damn, Berto, huh, we got the horny kids, nerdy kids, sporty kids, corny kids, etc. And besides the fact that this is supposed to be an actual education system, in any other capacity, it sounds more like a psych ward. Certain people <laughs> truly just aren't sane enough to sit down and just get an education. It's my sophomore year of high school, which is kind of a special time because as a sophomore, you've been around the block, you know the streets. So you're no longer like a very true, there's a big difference between your freshman year and your sophomore. By the time you're a sophomore, you are becoming a pro now. You're in the league now, you're a vet. And ju uh, junior year, pop, one of my favorite years for sure. Then senior year, man, you just balling now. You that guy. Well, hopefully, if you're not, then... I don't know what to say. A newbie in the high school upper echelon, but you also haven't earned all your gym badges. There's still a lot of Pokemon to catch. Okay. <laughs> So at this point, I had just gotten out of a real toxic relationship. If you want to know that story, I'll leave the link in the description or somewhere on the screen. That video is called I Fell In Love With A Thought, Woo! part one and two. Mm, mm, mm. Today's kids are thoughting. Boy, let me tell you, man, when, look, as far as social media goes, you know, kids are learning things too early on TikTok, which is not good, man. Y'all got to keep those phones away from kids. Yes, it had two parts. But after that relationship, I was in a different type of headspace i honestly just needed a true distraction from my misery because i had experienced real heartbreak with a thotty fortunately enough for me one of my Fight. friends at the time Mello, was going through a similar situation a little backstory on me and Mello: we weren't like best friends he was kind of just an acquaintance to me and my friend group but okay. we were cool but go ahead and bring two knuckleheads together both heartbroken over some thotty yeah you're gonna start to bond everybody needs a shoulder to cry on metaphorically of course because i'll be damned to let my tears roll down another nigga's shoulder Ooh. but you get the point now there's truly only two ways to deal with heartbreak one Focus on yourself, lock in, and become a better. Which I prefer that way, which is the good way. Do not tell me the second way, sipping and crying. Man, this is the good choice. The okay. choice that I would advise any of my peers to take. This, my friends, was not the choice me and Mello took. <laughs> we chose to distract ourselves with other women. But honestly, it was starting to get out of control. I'll say this three ways. Yes, all right, you can focus on yourself. Or you could definitely uh, try to get over by getting some from another girl. Nothing will make you get over a girl. Then try to actually talk to other girls. And three, you could cry at home like a little boy. Troll. I had a lot of one night stands and disappointing encounters on dating apps. These were really dark what, days. In high school? I'm not going to lie. Whoa, 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 Cringe whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I got that confused. Is that in high school? Y'all not using dating apps in high school, are y'all? What's the age limit in dating? Don't you have to be at least 18? Well, some high schoolers are 18 years old. That might be what it is. A little bit just thinking about the shit that I went through back then. I'm ashamed to say it, but I was going down a dark path. But here's the thing. Mello, on the other hand, he was going down a path that even I knew. At some point, you got to draw the line. Let me introduce you to Daniela. Daniela was quite literally a demon. Not only was she a thought, <laughs> but she was a freaky one. A freaky thought that had no boundaries. There was like something actually. First of all, the name Daniela, what is he, a Spanish? Mm, a Spanish. Wrong Hola. with this girl and everyone knew it. I hate to be the type of guy to just feed into stereotypes, but the way Daniela carried herself, you could only wonder where is this woman's father? Let me clear this up. Thoughts come in all shapes and sizes, but me personally, I'm pretty reluctant to just throw around the word thought so casually especially back in high school because the reality of the situation especially back then a lot of girls would get into what i like to call situationships with men and the reality is they end up really liking this guy right so they're falling for this guy and they go ahead and open up the v box for this particular man okay. then the guy goes pillow talking to the homies and then some of y'all weird yeah that's always another no no man yeah don't don't kiss and talk about it that's just 
old school thing. Kissing and telling is not one thing that's tolerated. Uh, but I do understand homies talk sometimes, especially in high school. Word spreads around quick. You don't want to be a thotty in high school. That can really diminish a girl's reputation. Lame ass niggas start lying on your little bitty cocks. And then the rumors start to spread about how you are next in line to the V-Box. And before you know it, this innocent little girl is labeled a thotty waddy. Well, the reality was she really just liked one guy. She fell in love, but shit just got blown out of proportion. I ain't gonna lie, some of y'all niggas be so weird and desperate. Like, don't lie on your cock, bro. Like, if you didn't hit the chick, why would you say that? Niggas just be making shit up. That's all teenage kids. That's what they do. I mean, it is what it is. It's been there before we were here. It was there when I was there, and it's gonna keep going there forever. Because of the pressure of teenagers to lose the V card. That's why men usually lie. Even females, sometimes they, you know, unleash the box and still lie about it. It's the pressure, man. Regardless, what I'm trying to say is that's not what Daniela was. She embodied every part of being a thought. Good she God. enjoyed it. I once heard she hooked up with three men in the same night. And when Are you talking about a train? A choo choo train? Oh my God. Oh my God, let me leave the train stuff alone. That's just disgusting. What's crazy is I didn't even think it was true until one day a fight broke out of nowhere and it was Daniela fighting this girl who happened to be in a relationship with one of the niggas that everybody was saying she let hit. And Daniela <laughs> went out of her way to clarify the rumors. When the fight got broken up, she just started yelling out. And that's why I smashed your man and the homies, you big ugly like, bro, the demon time this woman was on wow. was nothing like I had ever seen before. So please understand how concerned I was for my boy Melo. He had opened up and told me that he had been hooking up and texting Daniela for the past couple of weeks. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, bro. You cannot be serious, bro. Another thing I've learned when it comes to relationships or people talking to other people, whatever, situationships, mind your damn business if it has nothing to do with you mind your business boy you learned that pretty good no chill we're just having fun nigga it ain't that deep we both aren't looking for a relationship so what's the issue i mean i feel you dog but that's daniella bro she's for <laughs> everybody i don't care what phase you in that's not a good look fam you're just mad you ain't getting no play nigga i'm done with all this sad boy shit i'm in my hot boy era and that was cool and all but like i said daniella wasn't the type of girl to have any morals and whether my dog wanted to admit it or not Melo was falling for this girl he started losing himself like for example we're at lunch right everybody's cool and sitting talking shit just regular lunch shit but literally in front of everybody you just got Melo and Daniela just all over each other Dang. and some of y'all might be thinking Berto just mind your fucking business look I feel that but the reality is I don't think there's any circumstance at a lunch table in the middle of the cafeteria that anybody should be French kissing at the lunch table that don't make no sense I'm hey man if I was there that's not on my job. That's the principal's job, all right? I'm focused on trying to talk to the shorties I'm talking to. I don't know about you, but that's how I was. It's like, if you can talk whoever you want to talk to, but for me, I'm over there with her. What's, what's up, girl? <laughs> you feel me? I'm not going to co-sign in the middle of lunch two people just French kissing in the cafeteria, bro. Like, come on, that's weird. <laughs> that should not be happening in the middle of lunch at the lunch table, bro. I don't care what nobody says. Only get play! Mean. Certain shit just unacceptable, dog. It was starting to get to the point that every day that went by, the things Mello and Daniela were starting to do in public, it started feeling more and more uncomfortable. Like, this is heading down a dark path. Y'all gotta kinda use your imagination a little bit, cause I ain't trying to get my video demonetized straight up. I need my coins. <laughs> sorry but take my word for it she was getting freaky and weird so boom Melo and daniela had been on this freak train for like about a month now okay we're in pe class which okay. happened to be the one class that we all had together okay it was pouring outside that the day one class that's got you know changing and changing it's in the bathroom in the bathroom and lockers you know i can see where this is going are we cooking so everybody's inside the gymnasium just chilling. Our coach was real chill, so it was really just one of those days in the gym where everybody's just chilling, talking. There's not a lot of nothing going on. Now, okay. in the beginning of the class, Mello was sitting next to me on the bleachers, and there was a good amount of other students that were also sitting in the bleacher area. We weren't even really talking or anything, but at some point, Mello gets up. He's like, hey, yo, I'm going to be right back. So I'm like, cool, bet. So some time passed. I can't tell y'all exactly how long, but it had to have been at least 
you know, 15, 20 minutes, right? And I start thinking to myself, like, hey, yo, where'd this nigga go? He was nowhere to be found. I'm kind of just like looking side to side. I don't see him. And at the time, I wasn't necessarily thinking about Daniela because I wasn't even cool with her like that anyway. But looking back on the situation, she was nowhere to be found either. So I'm just sitting there, right? Starting to zone out. I'm probably thinking about why the fuck you niggas haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Hit that subscribe <laughs> button, man. But then out of nowhere, I start hearing these noises. Hey, yo. What is that? So now I'm kind of looking around because I can't make out where this sound is coming from. And before you know it, the other students around me are kind of doing the same thing. Like everybody's kind of like confused and making the same face. Like, yo, what's going on? What in the hell is this noise? Without context, it was really hard to make out what this noise was. But the intensity was starting to pick up, getting louder and louder until... <coughs> Hey, yo, is somebody choking? What's going on? Suddenly, everybody in the gym now is frantically looking around. What is that noise? Fuck, baby, don't stop. Is that Mello's voice? That's Mello's voice. Did this man lose his goddamn mind? It was almost as if everyone in the class simultaneously figured out what the hell was going on. Mello was missing and somebody was giving him that gok gok 3000 and the noise was coming from behind the bleachers i ain't gonna lie oh, i ain't trying to even de hold up. they didn't even try to go to the bathroom or anything the bleachers no you can see through the bleachers right demonstrate the sound effects that Daniela was making back there bro but the things we were hearing from behind that bleacher it was more than apparent that Daniela and Mello were completely in their own world they couldn't <laughs> care less about what they were doing and before you know it every student in the class my nigga is surrounding the back of the bleachers peeking their heads in and taking their cell phones out to see what is taking place behind these bleachers yeah, just recording bad. these two idiots going crazy and the worst part oh i forgot this is the new age kids nowadays their first reaction to everything is pulling out their cell phones and recording it oh i'm so happy back in my day we had cell phones but no one was trying to record anything which is weird too i don't know we could take cameras we could video but barely ever did it back then it was just natural everyone just had phones just to call people and to get online and do whatever videos you want to watch that's it music that's that's about it but hey new era man everyone wants to film everything so man it is bro they did not stop i'm standing there watching this whole thing unfold thinking to myself this guy mellow bro he is going out so sad right now man i can't tell if he just doesn't care that everybody's watching or if he just genuinely doesn't know Either way, the answer was the same. Daniela was giving this man the work, had him in a trance, hypnotizing his dumb ass. <laughs> it wasn't long before the coach realized all the commotion, man. He came to take a peek for himself. And not even on no weird shit, when the coach pulled up, he stopped and stared. But I think it was more just in shock at what he was actually looking at. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. He obviously yelled at them, ran over there, and just broke everything up. It was insane. Yo, the faces that Mello and Daniela were making were absolutely priceless. Like, it was complete fear and shock at the same time. Like, did you not think he was about to get caught? Like, what? There was some embarrassment in there too, man. But wow. Just wow. I think even for Daniela, in that moment, she realized how low she had stooped because I ain't never see her make such a embarrassed face, bruh. I don't even think she was prepared for what she just got caught for. And believe it or not, that was actually the last day I ever spoke to Melo again in life because he, he got expelled. I'm about to say, yeah, definitely you're going to be out of there for sure for that. Rumor has it that Daniela moved to a completely different state. Honestly? How couldn't she? Getting caught for some shit like that, you gotta start a whole new life, not gonna lie. <laughs> you can't get caught doing dumb shit like that, bro. Yellow, wherever you are, I hope you got your act together, girl. That's definitely <laughs> one of them stories you just gotta take to the grave, cause especially as a woman, yeah, you ain't, you gonna be single forever if you ever tell somebody you got caught doing that. Or maybe her and Mello are happily ever after right now. Probably married with kids. Two idiots made for each other, happily in love. I don't know. Like I said, man, 
High school is crazy. Yeah. Where are you at, Berto? All right. One thing for sure, people today don't have shame like they used to back in the day. Uh, OnlyFans changed everything. People will do anything for money. Uh, if you go to the hub, how many videos are in the hub? So apparently people have no shame. So they'll just do whatever they do, put it out there for the world. And hey, hot girl summer, whatever else we're doing nowadays. I don't know, man. Man, I'll see you guys on the next one. Shout out to my man, Birdo. His style is different. He's more in the camera and then he animates a little bit and he just brings it all together. Okay, man, keep doing your thing, young man. See you on the next one. I'm out.